Hello. Uh, first of all, good morning to, to everyone. It's a pleasure to, to see you all again here. And after two years of a pandemic with no media, it's a, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, I don't know whether this is as big a revamp as we had in the fourth season uh, because then we basically started the club out from scratch. Uh, we had to change everything in our way of thinking and how we went about our recruitment, hiring of coaches or players or whatever it was, our style of football. Um, this season, I think we're working with a more solid foundation where we already knew what we wanted to do in terms of the playing style, the sort of players we wanted to recruit. We did also have a lot of the players from the past as well because that season we had the draft, so it was a complete unknown. Um, this season, we've got a lot of players who've already spent significant amounts of time with the club. Um, and, you know, Carlos is also not somebody who's new to the club. He spent a lot of time with us previously in, as a football player as well. So he knows insides and out about Goa, the culture of Goa, the people of Goa, how the club functions, how the players are, what sort of league he can expect, right? So in that sense, I don't think it was such a big revamp. Um, but was it a challenge? Yes, of course. Um, every year is a challenge because just like me, there's 11 other people in um, different clubs also trying to do exactly the same thing. We all have the same objective to try and, you know, make our team the best possible team in the land. And it's always a challenge, but we're pre pleased with the work that we've done so far this season. And hopefully from next week onwards, we'll, um, we'll get an indication of um, how well our preparation has gone. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, one, uh, in 2017, when we first sort of, you know, had the big revamp that Neeraj first initially mentioned, we had only one functioning football team, right, which was the first team. This time we have a team um, that is the first team and we have six other teams that also participate across different competitions across age groups in different respective leagues uh, across the country, right? Um, so we always have players at our disposal. At that point in time, I think we had 25 professionally contracted footballers. Now we have 150 on our books, right? Uh, secondly, at that point in time, we had to think about what sort of football we wanted to play, what sort of ideas we wanted to set forward for the team, what sort of identity we wanted to take on as a football club. We didn't have to do that this time because we've already been doing it for the past five, six years. Uh, I would like to think that we've been largely successful with implementing that. Uh, and this year, obviously, we brought in a coach who fitted that style of football as well and somebody who also shared that sort of philosophy and mentality about how we want to take the team forward. Carlos, what is the style that you're going to play with this time? You just mentioned about the style. So what's your style? Well, the style of the, first of all, not... The style of football? Yes. Well, first of all, I want uh, my team have a is is brave in the team, no? Talking about defense, talking about attack. Okay, I, I we are trying to build a, a proactive team that go for the games and wait things for things to happen. No, for the this is the the most important idea. Uh, Tiki Taka. Well, I'm not represented too much with Tiki Taka because I think the possession needs to be useful. Okay, I I want the ball to attack, to create chances, and to score goals. And for that, we are going to work. Of players and team. Uh, compared to that team, how would uh, you describe that? Well, I don't like comparisons, no? Because it was some time that, as you said, we had a lot of success. We played, a, we played a really good football. And we got uh, some success, some trophies, and had a, a very fun time for, for everyone, no? But now it's a different era. I'm a new coach. We have different players. Some of them played then, but this is a new era and we don't have to think in the past. We need to create our own story and we are going to work for that. How would you describe the character of this team that we have? Right now, what I know from them during the precision, I have a, a group of players with a lot of ambition, with a lot of hunger, and looking forward to, to make the fans happy. This is the, the best quality of my team now. I have a, a group with a huge ambition. My expectation is that if we are in our level, in our best level, we, we are able to win. one. Um, we don't have fear from anyone. Uh, we know that there are many good teams in the league that this year I think the, the season is going to be very tight, the, the table, but we're able to fight against anyone. So looking at the ambition, looking at the hunger and the quality, of course, that I have in the team, I think we are ready to, to, to face a great season. Find transfer targets. Um, I think ISL has grown uh, quite a big uh, amount in terms of the stature of the um, After who are going to be coming on um, to speak to you guys as well. Um, it's a question that you can 
apply to them as well and ask them how easy for them was it to understand the visibility of the league, etc. and so forth. Because there's a few players who are actually sitting there on my right hand side who we recruited this summer uh, and when we had to sort of present them the club's vision, the club's idea and also introduce them to the league, they were like, we already know a lot of these things. Because they've already followed this league for quite a bit before because they've already had ex-teammates or friends or uh, people they know of who have already come and played in this league, right? So in that regard, the league's has grown in stature. Um, the one other thing you'll notice is that a lot of these players are coming in their prime years, right? Uh, Kevin Gare and Noah were sitting there. Uh, they're both in their um, late twenties, um, so they're coming in at a time when it was in their prime. When the ISL initially began, players were around the 34, 35 mark. Um, so obviously that's one big thing. And also, if you look back at the archives and what some of the ISL games have happened, even as early as say the fourth. Um, as compared to what we see this year, um, people you know who watch the game with the train diver realize that actually the game is a lot more nuanced and a lot more complicated in terms of how teams sort of approach themselves. It's not so easy to win matches anymore. Uh, it requires a lot of attention to find a detail. So I think that stands the league in good stead because it's just increased the level of the Indian players as well because the expectations of them is higher and the demands of them are higher as well. Um, we hope we'll have a um, full stadium uh, come 3rd of November. Uh, we have three away games to contend with before we get there. Um, obviously the team is focused on that, but us from a club perspective, we're hoping that we have the stands full. Um, it's been two years, I think the last time the team played in uh, Futorda was in the semi-final uh, when we uh, lost out an aggregate to Chennai. Um, and I remember the goal when Muttala Fahal scored because we were down uh, by three goals in aggregate uh, and when Fahal scored in the 10th minute. Uh, I remember how the stadium erupted and for me from a personal perspective it remains the best memory I have of uh, the team in that stadium. And that happens to be the last time fans were in the stadium. So I'm hoping we can get a replication of the atmosphere because whenever FCO has played at home with a full back stadium, the other teams have found it daunting. Right? So we don't want anybody to come and feel comfortable in Fathora. We want them to come and feel like it's a daunting task to face a team. Um, who with all their might and with all the support behind them, it's not easy to even take a point of them. Uh, last, uh, last season, uh, FC Goa uh, team was in a uh, nine number on position on point table. At uh, this time, uh, what is your winning mentality for games? Um, yeah, we were ninth, and obviously that required us to take certain proactive steps to change that scenario. Um, you would have noticed that you know we've got a different set of players in this time. We've, uh, we've still kept a significant part of the Indian core. Um, what is the winning mentality? Um, essentially, like the coach mentioned, we're a team that want to be brave. We want to try and take the game to the opponents, not for them to decide what's going to happen in the game. We want to initiate how the games are played, and we dictate the style of play, etc. And it's completely in our hands. We don't rely on the other team to decide what happens in the game. Um, and in terms of winning mentality, I think it's a process. Uh, it's step by step. You gain confidence based on the games that you play. Um, and I don't think that anybody within the team is focusing on anything beyond the first match to begin with right now. And then once results come in our way, then I'm sure the dynamic of winning will automatically catch on to the team. Uh, this time, FC Goa will uh, lift the ISL trophy for first time? Um, I hope so. Um, I hope everybody here is also on the same line as us. Yeah, we would love to, uh, but I think football is a game that is uh, controlled by X amount of invariable factors which don't depend just on us. If it depended upon us and if you, if it was up to me to sign a piece of paper and say, I'd probably sign it and say, yes, we would like to lift the trophy. Um, I think that's the ambition every team goes into the season with. Any team who does not, uh, are not in the right place. Uh, but yeah, we hope so. Uh, fingers crossed and we'll wait for the team to go. But let's focus on the first game first and we'll focus on the trophy when it comes to it. But uh, every time we see uh, on the final, a team will uh, lose that game, that's why. Hi guys. Hi guys, uh, we have with us our captain, uh, Brandon Fernandez. He is also the leading guy with the most assists so far in the history of the Hero ISL. Uh, we also have another Indian international with us and an FC Gosta, uh, Glenn Martin. So without much throw the floor open to questions and uh, please uh, raise your hands and I will come to you. Uh, hi Brandon, uh, as a leading player uh, not just for Goa, also for India, one of the most important players for the Indian national football. 
football team and of course leading player with assists and uh, leading player make, playmaker in the asset. Now the captain of FC Goa as well in the rebuilding uh, year for FC Goa. How big is the challenge uh, for the team and for you personally? Uh, yeah, it's a big challenge for us. Uh, as a team, we are rebuilding the team. We have many new players, uh, different ideas, trying to do, do new things. Uh, I hope in this process we get success and uh, personally uh, I want to get better. Uh, I just want to you know, add my numbers uh, in terms of assists and also be on the scoring, uh, uh, scoring sheet. But this, is, uh, this, is, this all will come with hard work and uh, I personally feel with a lot of hard work uh, we are going to get success this year. I think you just mentioned that uh, you are going to do some new things. Can you be very specific on that? What new things are you looking at this time? Uh, new things as in, uh, you know, we, the way we used to play uh, this year, we are trying to have different plans in our team. Uh, not just, like you said, just keeping the ball position sometimes. We we'll try to do different things, go direct. You know variations. Uh, this is this is what we are looking for, and we are training uh, these things, and we are hope we hope that we execute them well in the games and get results. Uh, so my question, my question is, uh, uh, I'm not very happy with your answer. I want to know what are the new things the team is going to try this time. You know, keep the new I'm not very clear on what exactly you mean by new things in the team. You know, what are the new things you're, you're looking at? Like uh, something, new, like you new. said, style of playing. What is the style of playing that you're talking about? I just, I just said, we'll have variation, we'll go direct sometimes. Because FC Goa is known for playing the ball position. This is what I tried to tell you. So we'll have more variation. It won't be always from the back. Sometimes it will be direct. Thank you. Augusto, have you recovered how your legs? Are you ready to take the shot at home? Yes, yes, I'm recovered fully now. I started training with the team and hopefully I'll be playing the first match also. I'm fully fit now. Glenn, how is uh, your assessment of uh, the entire challenge uh, this year? Because last year it was uh, really uh, not uh, what do you say? It was a forgettable year for FC Goa, but coming into this year with all the rebuilding, new coach, uh, as in Carlos Pena, who, who has also been the past player. How do you uh, assess uh, this year's challenge? Yes, I think with what happened last year, I think we have a lot to learn from that. It's not that just we want to forget about whatever happened in the last season, but then no, it has given us more hunger to prove ourselves this season. And with the fans back in the stadium, it will be a really a plus point for us. And we'll be hoping to see a lot of fans there and it will boost the team. And I think, yeah, as a team, I think we are much stronger side now. And compared to last season, because last season we had many injuries plus COVID cases. So I think this season will be much better now. Brendan, as captain of the team, do you think uh, Glenn by your side on the field would give you opportunities to, to plan the, the game better? Of course, uh, last season I don't remember we played together because there was some time I was out because of injury, some time he was out because of injury. But this season, I think having all the players, uh, especially Glenn, uh, you know, he's a very important player for us. Uh, uh, in different aspects of the game, uh, him being on the pitch is going to help us a lot. Uh, and also, we need to have all the players, you know, uh, having all the players because we train uh, together and we have different plans. Uh, so, we need to execute them and for that we need all the players fit. And another thing, uh, for the last two years, you all have been playing in a bubble. You all have been playing in a bubble. Yeah, yeah. Locked in the room, coming out and playing. So that had a 
a, a mental impact on all the players and you could be seen on your game. Now you are out of the bubble. Have you all recovered and you think it's going to help you perform better now? Yes, of course. Uh, initially it was very difficult for us. Uh, uh, we didn't realize that time but after coming out from the bubble we realized all those uh, things. It was really difficult for us. Uh, now, it's, uh, now it's normal. Uh, everything is normal for us. Uh, we have, you know, mentally also we have in a good space. Uh, so this is going to help us in our performances, I'm sure, uh, and we will be able to get good results this season. As captain of the team, normally a captain of a team has a, a, a word with the coach before the team is set for the day. Uh, are you going to play a crucial role in that? You mean to selecting the first 11? No, I didn't say selecting, but you have a crucial role in, in uh, explaining to, to the coach what you would like to be in your first 11. Uh, would you play that role? Well, uh, the first day when uh, Carlos came, he spoke to me and uh, he shared his ideas with me and he was very open to hear my ideas, uh, whatever I know, I told him but as you know, Carlos played ISL before and he very much know about this league. I don't have to tell him anything uh, but it's important to have this relationship with the coach where you are open to speak to each other and share your, thoughts, your ideas uh, because in this process I think it's going to help individually and as a team. Uh, Brendan, you have played with Carlos as a teammate, uh, now he is the coach. How different is he as a coach, in the role of a coach? Uh, you know, it's completely different to have as a teammate. And, uh, firstly, uh, because as a teammate you have him on the pitch to guide you, but now he will be on the sideline. And uh, he very well knows about ISL. And, uh, it's a big difference, it's a big uh, opportunity for him uh, to, to be there and guide the team outside the pitch and I'm sure he's going to do a good job because uh, he knows uh, the players, he knows the league and uh, it's very much, uh, uh, how can I say, very much uh, a challenge for him uh, and for us to, to give him what he's asking from us. So I think uh, in this whole process, I think we need to we need to give him what he's asking and work hard on the pitch and stay fit. And whenever we go on the pitch, uh, to give hundred percent. And I think that's going to give us results. Uh, we'll take the last two questions. Uh, Glenn, uh, I think uh, from the foreign signings, four are new com uh, coming new to ISL. Four of the foreign signing in FC Goa. Uh, how have they gelled uh, in the bunch? Uh, what has been the kind of bonding so far with the uh, local players? I mean, all as a squad, how is the gelling been? Yeah, uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, five new foreigners. Uh, who, from them, four are new to ISL. And I think they have gelled really well because even they enjoy, that we can see in the training that we all always are like a family. It's not that we they are aside or something like that. No, we always gel together well. And I think and they are really good players, good human beings. So I think they are really going to help the team very much. So on a parting note, Brendan, what is your... On a... On a parting note, what do you expect from the crowd and what is your message to the fans? Uh, what I expect from the crowd? Yes. Uh, I expect them to come in large numbers, uh, to be there for us uh, in every moment, uh, whether it is up or down moment and we need them to, to, there for, to be there for us and support us. Uh, in every match, we will give our best, we will give our 100% and uh, of course, we want them to go back happy. This is what, this is our aim, uh, we want to 
we want to bring the fans more and more fans in the stadium and uh, make them happy hi guys we have with us uh, two new faces with us uh, firstly uh, eager gorachena he grew up in bilbao from the academy of athletic bilbao and has been playing all over the world uh, i think uh, his last stint was in australia uh, we have also noah uh, while sadawi uh, he is a moroccan international and he also has been playing around the world he has played in israel he's played in the U uh, us as well as morocco uh, and now without much ado i'll throw the floor open to questions so what is the kind of uh, what is the kind of football style you bring here we want to know something about that good afternoon everyone uh well, obviously the one thing uh, i would like to say about myself is uh, I'm an attacking minded player uh, I like to take on players uh, one against one uh, you can get uh, good crosses from me and uh, yeah just being there for my teammates working hard and um, yeah that's it how do you uh, perceive the indian players the local players since you have been training with them for all this time what is your perception uh for me personally i mean i've been here for now almost two months so uh from what i can see in the indian players they're very hard working uh you can see every day they want to get better and that's very very important uh for the whole team because when you have players that are hungry to get better and uh, gelling together uh, i think it's really good for the club uh Ika, you are 29 years old, and uh, you are 28, right? 28, 29 years old. So, uh, players like you in your late 20s coming to ISL, I think this is a very big statement. So, uh, how do you see ISL in your career, or uh, does it meet your ambition as you have taken this uh, decision to join FC Goa and play in the ISL? Does this challenge give you a lot of excitement for your ambition? Boost for your ambition? Yeah, it is. It is ambitious. Uh, the club uh, give us this ambitious message. So when we have, yeah, uh, particularly when I have this this chance to come here and they give me this this message, they send me this message, I catch it uh, fast because uh, it comes with my idea to to win, to grow, and I think we go, we can go in. in the same direction so i think uh, the age okay is uh, 29 but uh, it doesn't matter which age because uh, you can have a different mentality with 30 with 35 or with 22 22 so yeah i think it comes in a great moment for me i think uh, i'm in the in the same direction of the club so yeah i think it would be beautiful for us for you no as well uh, does this uh, uh, challenge of joining fc goa does it spur or boost your ambition as well yes for sure uh, before this i was in morocco for 3 years and you know it was uh, time for me to to seek a new adventure and uh, yeah as i told before uh, to the media that I, i've been in contact with fc go uh, now for 2 years so it's really exciting i'm very very happy to be here and uh, just to start this new challenge So I have a question uh, what really attracts players from Europe like you to come to a country like India and play given the ranking of this country just so far below the European European teams which we have what really attracts you all to this place Yes yeah, I said before uh, in soccer and football not we are not used to to win we are used to fight used used we are get used to As I said, we are not used to win uh, many times, so I think it was good challenge to to win more. Uh, the, the the most attractive thing I get from this club was we are be closer to win than any other place I, that I have chance to go. So I think uh, what attract me is uh, the chance to win. Money the attraction. Money the attraction here. Yeah, I just told told you right now that my attraction was to win. not any other thing uh, because uh, i can get money everywhere 
but I think the, the closest place to get something, to get a trophy, to get a win, is here, so that's why I'm here. Are there any other questions? Okay. Hi, Ike and Noah. It's a question out of football. You've been in Goa for some time now, both of you all. How has the experience been in Goa so far? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, it's different than what I'm used to. Uh, but uh, it was very easy for for myself to to feel at ease, to uh, adjust quicker because people were very welcoming to us, and I'm sure you can say the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's been great so far. So I hope it continues like that. Yeah, for me, it's a beautiful experience. I'm uh, living in different parts of Goa. I'm enjoying a lot and on of the pitch because uh, in the pitch I'm enjoying a lot we're training hard but but we have a beautiful group we are uh, having fun in the trainings a part of working hard and out on uh, off the pitch as well uh, discovering a different culture different parts of the world that that I do it long flight from from my my house so I think it deserves to 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 visit new new culture new new places so it's beautiful yeah Thank you.